Hey there, Mud Rumors. It is Carmen here again this week, and as promised, I'm here to talk about the rest of our stoneware washes. So, just to kind of recap, um, last week I came on here and talked about um, our other three washes in our stoneware wash line, which is iron wash, rutile wash, and um, cobalt wash. So I talked about those guys. I was lumping them all together because they have very, very similar performance characteristics. Um, and then I have these two. We have our copper wash and our uh, manganese wash. And these I also lumped together because they have very similar performance characteristics. But the two groups are separate from one another. Hi there from Belgium. We're out here in uh, Columbus, Ohio, so um, so to first start off with, I would just talk about kind of like the basic characteristics of the washes, and these have, um, these are all the same amongst all of the washes, so these can be used on their own or layered with other glazes to enhance and create really interesting effects. Um, if they are layered with a dinnerware safe glaze, they are considered dinnerware safe. So if you use them on their own without uh, another dinnerware safe glaze or anything like that, that really seals the surface, then we do not recommend them to be used with uh, dinnerware. Um, so here we have some a couple examples. I just wanna show you what these washes look like. Um, so actually I'll just line these up with what's here. So here is the copper wash. Um, this guy has the copper wash applied one coat full strength right here. And then here we have, well, and then wiped away. And then here we have just a full strength coat, um, on its own. So as you can see, it is kind of a dry metallic finish. So I really wouldn't want to be using that on dinnerware anyways, um, unless it was sealed with another glaze, but I love these kind of metallic blooms that happen with the copper wash when it's just applied directly to um, your bisque here. And then here I have it where it's antiqued, so you can still see some of that metallic in the crevices here, but it does gonna it is gonna create a little bit of a greenish body staining. So and that's just gonna be from the copper. Um, and then on the back here, I have it used full strength with our clear glaze on top of it. So just our regular stoneware clear glaze is on top of it here. And as you can see, we still get a lot of that metallic happening here, but it's going to flow a little bit of green. Um, so it brings this beautiful bright emerald green into glaze combinations when you're layering it. And if you notice, it is gonna have movement when you're layering it with other glazes. So this is layered with a clear glaze and it's going to move this much so i did the same on the back here so the i stopped my copper wash right here and this is how much it moved layered with a stable glaze so just keep that in mind when you're applying it with other glazes because if you're layering it with a glaze that has movement this is going to add a lot of mobility to those combinations um, so that's just a little bit about the copper wash here and we'll go ahead and do a quick zoom in of these samples here. So this doesn't have a lot of copper wash on the rim. Um, I would have created a lot more movement here if I overlapped these a little bit more. Um, but there's not a lot of overlap, but you can see a little bit of that beautiful uh, green popping out here uh, where it's interacting with the glaze. And then where, the, where it doesn't have the glaze, we have a bit of uh, metallic. It kind of shows it a little bit better on the bottom here um, since it, uh, is a vertical surface to be doing it on. So there's a little bit of that green. And this is just layered with our turquoise glaze. And then here we have cobalt wash moves through a silk screen. So you can kind of see the contrast here with how stable the cobalt wash is versus uh, the mobility that's produced by the uh, copper wash. Mm. So there's that. And then here we have the copper wash layered with um, our glaze smoke, so S121. It's kind of hard to see here, but you can see a lot of the metallic is showcasing through here, which that I think has something to do with the fact how metallic this kind of base glaze is anyway. Um, and since it's already green, you're not going to pick up a lot of those green highlights. But it is really cool, this beautiful metallic effect that comes here. And I like the variation that's created um, 
with this layering. So that is a little bit about our copper wash here. So there's those kind of next to each other. And then we can go ahead and talk about our manganese wash. So the manganese wash is going to perform very similar in characteristics to the copper wash, but it's going to bring a little bit of a different color to it. So here we have the manganese wash applied the same as I did on the other tile. So I have a full strength coat here, which is what you get this nice metallic effect here. It's really kind of hard to see in this video how metallic it is. It's either like shiny or it's black is what it seems like here. But it is really metallic-y, kind of mirrored, and it does have a little bit of a brown um, hue coming out to it, which is, expresses itself much more here um, in this texture where it's a little bit thinner. So here I did the full strength coat and I just wiped it back with a sponge. There is a little bit of body staining, but not quite as much as you got um, from the copper wash or um, that you would get with other washes like our iron wash that does a lot of body staining but this wash um, wipes off pretty clean um, and then another tip if you don't like the body staining um, you can apply a clear glaze and that will often eliminate much of the body staining that happens with these or if you do like the body staining keep in mind the clear glaze will eliminate a lot of that body staining um, so yeah this nice metallic here and then on the back you get this beautiful brown variation um, when it's layered with other glazes. So again, here we have the manganese wash layered with our um, stoneware clear, and it does create a little bit of movement. You can kind of see this line that's created here, just one full strength coat with uh, clear glaze on top of it, and there is some movement. So again, with the stable glaze, it has movement. So keep in mind, if you're layering it with a mobile glaze, it will also create more movement um, with that. And the, the thickness of your glaze application and your wash application will also influence the movement. So on both of these, if I did a couple coats of the wash, or if I did like six coats of the clear glaze, those would also make these move more. So please definitely keep that in mind um, when you're using these uh, products. So here we just have a couple of samples. This is with the, uh, we have gray opal and um, I believe it's honeycomb with the uh, manganese wash on the rim here. So this manganese wash was applied underneath all of these glazes because I knew that these glazes would influence the mobility of it. So having four coats of glaze on top of the manganese wash, it's gonna create a little bit more movement here, which is something that I was really seeking out. And I really love how this blends right down into the glaze combination here. It really is just so, so pretty. So this, this would be considered a, um, dinnerware safe product because the manganese wash is completely underneath this sealed and dinnerware safe um, finish here. And then here we have the manganese wash. This project has a lot going on in it, but it's just so, so pretty. I had to share. Um, so this, we did all the decorating on the bisque and then put one glaze over top of it. So what I did first was make little, I used um, the manganese wash in a slip trailer and I made these little kind of like circle things. Um, so I did that all around the rim and then I put um, globs of stroking coat here. So I think I did like two coats of each of them and then here I've got little circles with stroking coat dots in there and then I just did three coats of um, amber quartz on top of that and it created this beautiful effect so you can see all this lovely movement that happens here this is all the manganese wash um, and the this glaze is influencing this a lot so this um, amber quartz here this glaze can have a lot of movement so it is going to make this glaze flow a little bit more and really really soften those edges so if I did this um, project with a stiffer glaze, like let's say I did it with this um, turquoise here, I wouldn't be getting as much blending and variation that I'm getting with this glaze because I did layer it with a glaze that does have movement. So just keep in mind that's going to greatly influence um, your fired results. Um, and then here we have these at low fire, I guess. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys what these are at low fire because these our stoneware washes do have a firing range from cone 06 up to cone 10. I know they say they're stoneware washes, but they are basically just oxides, so they're still going to do their job um, at cone 
06 as well. Um, so here you can see kind of how the body staining gets eliminated um, with the application of a clear glaze, or I guess in this instance, this brings brightens up that green body staining that's happening over here, which is really, really cool. And then this kind of brown metallic at 06 um, gets, it gets a little bit more brown here, but there's not going to be the same amount of movement that you get um, when you bring it up to higher temperatures. But if you are trying to add um, a little bit of variation or a pop of color, these are going to be great things to do at 06 and even up to cone 10. So uh, yeah, that's all I kind of wanted to just hop in here today just to show you guys the rest of our washes. We do get lots and lots of questions about them because it is kind of a niche um, product to be using. So we like to post our projects on our YouTube channel. These projects I know are available on our YouTube channel as well as on um, our Instagram and our Facebook page. So please check it out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post this on YouTube um, after I finish this here, and if you do guys, if you do come across any questions that you think about while you're watching this, please feel free to drop them in the comments, and I would love to answer them for you. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely evening. Until next time, bye.